Love and only love can solve our problems. War is not the way to solve them. <laughs> Peace and love, sending love to our beating hearts. Today we are overcoming psychic attack here and now. Overcoming psychic attack here and now. <laughs> what is a psychic attack? Whenever two or more human beings or indeed all creatures come in contact with each other there's always an energy exchange. In an ideal world The energy exchange is mutual. It's generated. We come together collectively and we synchronize vibrations which multiply, multiply and manifest. They increase and raise. That's in a perfect world. But unfortunately, most energy exchanges between human beings are either give or take. We're either giving away our energy, losing our energy, or we're taking energy, we're receiving energy, like an energy vampire. We've already done energy vampires. I've made a video, a couple of videos on energy vampires. But in a psychic attack, the process is one of attack <laughs> rather than drawing energy. We're sending negative energy. When we're under psychic attack, the attacker is sending negative energy into your energy field, which attaches to your energy field and brings down your vibration, makes holes in your energy field. And then bad stuff starts happening in your life. <laughs> Overcoming psychic attack here and now. It's important for us to understand that anything that happens in our lives is generated by ourselves. We must always take full responsibility for every scenario everything that happens in our life is coming from ourselves why because we are interdimensional energy manifestors <laughs> whoa where did that come from we are interdimensional energy generators yeah we're so much more than we've been taught by babylon we and the creative force of the universe are one. We are one with the Father, one with the Divine Mother. Each of us has our own individual universe, which resonates and synchronizes with other universes. All of our thoughts, 
I like little seed bubbles. That manifest and generate our world. The world that we live in. This is happening on many super conscious levels and many subconscious levels that we are not aware of with our physical senses in this physical realm. So <laughs> the point is when we are under psychic attack there's something within our energy, within our vibration that is causing this to happen within our world. It's a wake-up call. When anything negative happens in our world it's a wake-up call for us to be more awake, more aware, to shine our love, our light at the negative thing and raise its vibration. That's our purpose as human beings, to raise energies. Anyway, back to the subject. Overcoming psychic attack here and now. Once again, the answer is quite simple. Connect with your higher self. I've done a video on this, connecting with the higher self. When we can connect with our higher self, our aura, our energy becomes strong. And we can protect ourselves from psychic attacks. Now there's different types of psychic attacks. You have people who are consciously aware of what they're doing and deliberately try to put hexes on you, work spells on you. Or there is unconscious psychic attacks where people are unconsciously sending negative energy towards you. Have you ever wondered why when we use expletives, when we swear, it's called a curse. You know, in Jamaica we say, you curse somebody. When you, a curse is a curse. So when we use expletive language, when we use negative words, we are literally sending negative energy. We are cursing. We're placing curses on people. That's why it's important never to curse, <laughs> only to speak words of blessing and love and truth. When you're in an environment where people are cursing, swearing, using expletives, you are in an environment of negative energy. And it's important to maintain your energy field, maintain your awareness, maintain our connection with the energy field. Everything we say or do, or other people say or do, is either directing negative energy or receiving positive energy. It's always an energy exchange in all situations, in all scenarios. Really, we're supposed to come together with people collectively, cultivate our energy and use that energy in positive ways. This was the secret of the ancients. When we learn how to cultivate our life force energy, we start to learn simple acts of telekinesis. We can move a Rizla with our force. We start to become clairvoyant. But when we join with other people collectively and cultivate our life force, a much more powerful thing happens. We can use that 
collective energy to move huge boulders, huge rocks. This is how the ancient people built the ancient monuments. Even this place where I am now, the more I come here, the more I realize that these rocks all around me were placed here by ancient peoples using different technology than we have today. And that technology was energy cultivation, energy manipulation, collectively. We as human beings, we're so much more than we've been taught. Overcoming psychic attack here and now. Join us now in some positive affirmations which will help us to overcome all negative energy sent towards us. We are powerful. We are emanating vibrations of love, peace and unity into the world. We are collectively overcoming all negativity. We are raising our vibration in positivity and love. We are synchronizing and harmonizing our energy collectively. We are emanating truth, light, justice into the world. We are aligning with our highest good. We are shining in our fullest potential. We are synchronizing our vibrations in power, truth and light. We are collectively helping to bring about the positive paradigm shift in the world. We are attracting to us angelic beings of immense wisdom, love, light and truth. We are happy and peaceful and truthful. We are connecting with our infinite creative potential. We are beautiful, strong and happy. We are healthy and full of vitality. We are thinking only positive thoughts and these positive thoughts are generating positive thought forms into our world. We are protected by our love and positivity, truth and light. We are one. We are one. <laughs> we are not separate, we are one. One love, one heart, one truth. Love and only love can solve our problems. War is not the way to solve them. Put a little love in your heart and soul. Put a little love in your heart and soul. My brothers, my sisters. One love. <laughs> Sending love to our beating hearts. I love you all. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>